Welcome to my channel. Joke lang, char lang yun. Okay, so I made this video for uh, my students, grade 9 students. Kasi um, gusto ko yung reviewer nila, hindi yung nakikita lang. Kasi syempre mat mahirap. So I want them to know the process. So ibig sabihin, yung video na to, yun yung ginagawa ko sa kanila. So para to sa inyo. Okay? So kung hindi kung makakatulong naman to sa inyo, kung estudyante ka ng grade 9 at makakatulong to sa inyo, eh, why not? Subscribe, like, click the notification bell. <laughs> Choke lang, dami ka na sila sa atin. Okay kasi why I made this because um I don't want to to upload yung video nila na mas sila sa meeting kasi syempre big privacy and their minors so bawal yon. Hindi ko naman masento sa GC kasi video siya. Diba nga ang gusto ko, maintindihan nila. Gusto ko makita nila yung process na nangyayari. Okay? So kaya ako ito ginawa. Okay? So ito na siya. So yung video kong gagawin for grade 9 is divided into two. Yan. So yung una, pag pinagsama ko, medyo mahaba yung video. Una is all about quadratic function yung finding the vertex, axis of symmetry, and the intercepts. So, yung the introduction of quadratic function, hindi ko na ibibigay kasi na-lesson ko na sa inyo. Hindi, hindi naman siya kasama sa exam. Okay? So, let's see. Quick review lang. Quadratic function, the vertex form is f of x is equal to a, quantity x minus h plus k, where h kama k is the vertex of the graph. Yan. Yung vertex natin, ulitin ko, siya yung turning point. Sa kanya lumili ko yung graph. Kasi yung parabola, di ba, pa u or pa baliktad na u. Yung pagliko nun, yun yung vertex. Yung vertex natin is at the minimum kapag upward. Ang vertex natin is at the maximum point kapag naman downward yung graph natin. So madaling malaman yung vertex kapag vertex form yung given. Kukunin mo lang yung h and k. Pero kapag hindi um, standard form yung function, yung quadratic function natin, we use the formula. Ayan, basahin nyo na lang. Ang equation naman of the axis of symmetry, the formula is x equal to h. So, ibig sabihin, yung makukuha mong h doon sa simula, yun na yung gagamitin mo. And axis of symmetry, by the way, is the line, the vertical line that divides the parabola into two congruent halves. So, para siyang mirror. So, hinati nga yung parabola sa kalahate. Okay? Exactly the same yung both sides. Intercepts naman, points in the x and y axis where the graph passes through. So, dyan dumadaan yung quadratic, yung graph ng quadratic function natin. There are cases na hindi siya dumadaan sa x-axis. Okay lang yon. Pero sa y-axis, dumadaan siya. Okay? Hindi man natin makikita sa simula, pero sa dako pa roon, makikita natin yon. Okay? So, intercept, or intercepts, that's why may orient, the reason why may orient, kasi pwedeng wala, pwedeng isa, pwedeng dalawa. Our values, or, or value or values of x when y is zero. So, x sub 1 is 0, x comma 0, and x sub 2 comma 0. Y-intercept naman is the value of y when x is 0. Okay? Or 0 comma y. So, let's hold. Start na tayo. So, determine the vertex equation of the axis of symmetry and the intercepts of the function. x squared minus 4x plus 3. So, since it's not written, written in vertex form, we are going to use the formula na nakikita nyo na dyan. Okay? So, meron dyan mga a, b, and c. So, to solve for the value of h and k, first thing that we need to do, sulat muna natin yung function natin. And then, yan. So, sulat ko lang, x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now, all so as y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Tandaan, f of x is the same as y. Press on yun. Independent. Okay. So, base of A, I mean value of A, is the numerical coefficient of x squared. Kung wala kayong makita, 1 automatic. Ang pinat is the numerical coefficient of the, the variable x. So, since may minus siya, negative 4. The value of A is constant. C for constant. Ayan na pinakamadaling malaman. C for constant. Now, solve the value of H. H is equal to negative B over 2A. So, may negative sa formula, tapos ang hindi natin negative 4. So, negative of negative. Over 2, let's say natin 1. Negative is negative is positive, kaya 4 over 2. And 4 is divisible by 2, and the answer is 2. So, the value of h is 2. Now, in finding the value of h, there are two methods or two ways. 
first is by, sub- by substitution. Substitute natin yung to doon sa function. Pero, ang pangalawa, using the formula. I advise you to use the formula kasi paano pag fraction, paano pag malaking fraction yung naging h? So, mahihirapan kayo. Malilito kayo. Pero, para sa mga advance or nadadalian mag-substitution, go lang, walang problema doon. So, we're going to use the formula. So, 4 plus a natin 1, c is e minus yung binat is to 4 and the squared all over 4a. A natin ay 1. So, k is equal to the product of 4, 1, and 3, 12 minus the square of negative 4 is 16 positive. Okay? So negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 all over 4. And 12 minus 16 is negative 4. Okay? Different sign. Minus. Keep change, change. Keep change, change. Okay? So, magkakibar ang sign, subtract, and have the sign of the larger number. Okay? So, all over 4. And 4 divided by 4 is 1, and it's negative. Kasi negative 4. Negative divided by positive is negative. So, we already have the value of h. So, the vertex is at 2, comma, negative 1. Yung h natin at saka yung k. h, comma, k. Okay? Ayan. Yan yung vertex natin. Hindi ko na siya i-graph kasi naleso naman na. Hindi man na nakailangan doon sa exam. Next, for the equation of the axis of symmetry, alam natin na ang equation ay x equals h. Yung h natin na nasolve kanina, h is equal to 2, tama? So, x is equal to 2. This is our equation of the axis of symmetry. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Pinakamadali. Okay. For the intercepts naman, so the first thing that we need to do, the first Intercept is y-intercept kasi ito yung madali. Yung y-intercept, sabi ba value ng y when x is 0. So, x is equal to 0. Ano yung value ng y? Question mark. Diba ang function natin, x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals y. Nilagay ko na lang dito yung y. Diba f of x? Bali daw na x ng y when x is 0. Siba, siniro mo to, siniro mo to, cancel. So, hindi ang matitira. Y is 3. Or simply constant, kapag y, intercept, yung constant doon, yun na yung sagot. Kapag walang constant, edi zero yung y, ganun lang yun. Okay? Ibig sabihin, sa origin, tatama yung graph. Yan. So, meron na tayong y-intercept na zero, kama t, edi ba x, kama y, x, kama y. Ayan. Okay? Zero, kama y. Zero, kama three. And for the x-intercept, or intercept, intercept, or intercept, ito lang yung parang pagkuha ng roots natin ng first quarter. Ganun lang yun. Isisito mo lang yung f of x, so magiging 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Diba? Mayroon tayong four methods. Factoring, completing, extracting, quadratic formula. So, titignan mo na natin kung factorable. Kapag factorable, eh di mas maganda. Diba? Pag factoring, kunin lang natin yung last 3, hanap ka ng dalawang number, pag pinag-times mo 3, pag pinag- mo, negative 4. So, di ba, product mo, 3, ang sum mo dapat, negative 4. Ayan. Hanap ka ng dalawang number na pinag-times mo, 3. Ito na muna. Pwedeng 3 plus 1, di ba? Yan na lang agad. Wala nang iba. Eh, 3 naman, negative 3 plus negative 1. Ito ba, negative 3 plus negative 1, still positive 3 yun. Product. Product. Ito, sum. So, ito yung gagamit natin. So, magiging x minus 3. So, ha, baka isipin nyo na x. Ayan. Tapos, x minus 1 yung isa. Tapos, yung nung roots natin. Parehas negative. Kaya, x minus x minus. Tapos, yung lagi nakakalimutan sa dulo, change the sign. So, x sub 1 is equal to 3. x sub 2 is equal to 1. So, pwede ba magkakalit yung 1 and negative 1 and negative 1? Sure, why not? Pwede yun. Pwede x sub 1 is 1, x sub 2 is 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang x-intercept natin ay 3, 0 and 1, 0. Yan yung intercept natin. X-intercepts. So, da, dyan dadaan yung graph natin. Okay. So, if you want to answer this question, this problem, pwede naman, ipost nyo na yung video, tapos compare nyo yung sagot natin mamaya. Ibig sabihin, mamabilisin ko na lang to. Okay? So, ayun na. Yan. Yan. Kunin mo na natin yung vertex. Okay? Bago tayo, bumalik na lang tayo doon sa equation. So, yung vertex natin, diba? Una. Copy mo na natin. F of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 14. Ang a natin ay 1. 
ang binata na 5, ang C natin is negative 14. Huwag yun, hindi na tayo mag-focus na explain ko na kanina. Okay? So using the formula, H is equal to negative of 5 over 2 times 1. So negative 5 over 2. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Ginamit ko yung negative 5 over 2 by substitution, may hirapan kayo. So okay na yan. Divisible by 2, so yan na yun. Yan lang yung fraction. Walang problema dyan. And then A is equal to 4 times 1. Yung C natin, negative 14. Minus yung B natin is 5 squared all over 4A. Ayan. Ang A natin, sorry, ay 1. So K is equal to, what is 4 times 1? 4 times negative 14. 4 times negative 14 is 16, 1, 56. Negative 56 minus 25. Kasi 5 squared is 25. All over 4. Lagi kong minus yan. Laging minus to. Okay? So negative 56 minus 25. Tama ba yung 56 ko? 14 times 4, 16, 1, 31. Okay. So negative 56 minus 25 ay negative 81 over 4. Tama? Nag-add ko yung dalawa kasi parehas negative. Okay? 8 to 1 is 2 by 4. And we cannot simplify 8 to 1 and 4. We cannot divide eight, both 8 to 1 and 4 by a certain number except 1. Okay? So this is now our value of p. Ibig sabihin ang vertex natin is negative 5 over 2 comma negative 8 to 1 over 4. Ayan na yung vertex. O diba? Um, fraction. So approximately 5 over 2 is 2.5, then 81 divided by 4, i-decimal nyo na, doon yung makikita yung vertex. So balik tayo sa equation. Ano yung nakuha natin na h, di ba, negative 5 over 2. So ibig sabihin, ang equation ng axis of symmetry natin, since h is equal to negative 5 over 2, ang equation natin x is equal to negative 5 over 2. Ganun lang kasimple. Ayan. Or pwede rin naman na 2 is equal to negative 5. Wow, tapos pa lang sarili nyo. X is equal to negative 5 over 2 na lang. Ayan. Okay. Next, intercepts. Okay, so for the y-intercept, pagawin lang natin, isisiro natin si x, or simply, constant. If x is 0, y is the constant term, negative 14. So, 0, kama, negative 14. Y-intercept ang pinakamadaling kunin talaga. Okay, next, for the x-intercept, or intercept, yan, so x squared plus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. Ano pa ng dalawang numbers? Sum that is 5. Ang product natin is negative 14. Hanap pa ng dalawang, since negative po, isang positive, isang negative. Ano pa yung pinag plus 20 times 14 pag pinag minus 5? Bakit pinag minus? Kasi negative po. So, meron tayong 7 and 2. Okay? Tapos, kung ano yung sign nung dito, yun pa yung sign na mataas. Yun ang lagi. So, yun, ito yung negative. Tinuro ko na yan sa inyo. Alam nyo na yan. So, magiging x plus 7 and x minus 2. And change the sign. x sub 1 is equal to negative 7. x sub 2 is equal to positive 2. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin ng x intercept sa atin ay um, negative 7 comma 0 2 comma 0. Yan yung x intercept sa atin. Yan lang po. Yan. Yan yung vertex kanya. Thank you. I hope you learned something. Post-post nyo na lang kapag medyo magulo or something. Bye-bye. See you on my next video para doon sa variation naman. Subscribe now.